Autogenic drainage. First phase is the preparatory stage. During this phase, make sure you're well hydrated. Get a cup of water and drink until you feel that your throat is nice and moist. Afterwards, get a tissue and blow your nose. This is a very slow, long nose breath out that's quiet. It is not a loud breath. Once you feel your nose is clear, you can move on to the breathing technique. During this technique, place one hand onto your chest and one hand onto your stomach. This is to ensure when you take the breath in, you firstly breathe into the stomach before expanding into the chest. After the breath in, you're looking to relax the mouth for an inaudible, relaxed breath out. During this breath out, you're looking to breathe out as far as possible. You're also looking to hear a level of where the crackle might be. This is an indication of where sputum is. After the long breath out, take a very small breath in and then breathe out. Take a small breath in and breathe out. You're now breathing into the low volumes of your lung. Once you feel that the sputum or the crackle sound has started to move higher, you can then start to increase the breath in and a very small breath out. This then moves your breath to the middle of your lungs. You're then looking to take a slightly larger breath in to then move up to the top of your lungs. Take a small breath out and a long breath in. Once you feel you've got to the top of your lungs, you may feel that you need to cough. At this point, you can take two coughs. <coughs> Try and limit it to two coughs to avoid any trauma to the lungs. If you manage to cough and clear, you can return back to the test breath to see if there's any more sputum or crackle sound on the chest. If so, repeat the cycle. 